<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Nobody here, and we're going to tackle Studio episode after crawling around in those mines. I think we got lost in the mines. Oh god. You know, I, I, this probably should go without saying, but I do have a Sonic Adventure 2 battle let's play on my channel if you want to take a look at that. That is also another one of my favorite games that I absolutely adore. I will play that one forever. So, gliding in Studio Alpha Zone is more broken than you might think, and it's because when you glide and you hit these uh, bumper things, you actually don't stop gliding. They can propel you to incredibly insane distances. It's really kind of stupid. Uh... But, it does make for a fun game, though. Or, it does make for a fun time. Sorry. And look at that. We found another emerald. We should probably get it. Oh wait, but there aren't chaos, there aren't eight chaos emeralds. So I'm gonna collect as many special rings as I come across, just for the sake of being able to rack up lives. And I will show you Super Knuckles once or twice throughout the let's play. But I will try not to use it as much, just because that is kind of cheap, and I do want to play the game kind of legitimately. I said kind of, I didn't say I wanted to do it entirely legitimately. Okay, so this is definitely a zone that was built for Knuckles. Well. That's the only way you're going to be able to get through there. Unless you're just willing to... <laughs> oh, hey. Nope. Unless you're just willing to uh, sacrifice a bunch of rings. But I feel like that's supposed to signify that only Knuckles is supposed to be here. Take out that microphone that somehow shoots electricity for some reason that I don't understand. Oh, hey, I'm already at the boss? Really? Well, shit. Knuckles cheeses this boss, too. Guess why? Because he can glide. Straight over the enemy missiles. It literally makes them entirely pointless. And then, you can just spin dash into that one. Hell, you can even fly into the missile if you really want to, because flying into them does damage too. Don't fly into the red ones, because that will destroy you. Or that will damage you. But yeah, you can just glide into the blue missile, and it will knock it back, and then you can just avoid everything else. Look, I'll try to do it right now. Fly over the red one. And... Come on. Okay. I missed. We'll get this one. No. See? Glide into it. There it goes. Okay, it's a bit harder than I made it sound, but I did it I did it like three times on the fry first run through this with Knuckles. Until I checked my audio and realized that my audio was terrible. See it. Ah crap, I missed. Well, I didn't miss. I, um, became a rolling pin. Oh! Crap. Good thing Knuckles can glide and I can cheese the rest of this boss. Because I don't have any rings. Now I do. Okay, come on. Why does he look like a highway patrol cop? Like, and also, why are we fighting the Axum Rangers? When did they get a job working at Sega? No. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was. That was. That was. That was uncomfortably close. Sweet. And with that, we get through Act One, and we're going to run straight in Act Two. Not a bad time either. So the levels are kind of different with Knuckles. Uh, there are some differences. Um, nothing that really stands out, though. Um, aside from the start of Green Hill Zone, I haven't really noticed anything in Studiopolis or Chemical Plant that was Knuckles-specific, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's by design or what, but I kind of expected a little bit more... Uh, I mean, it's 2017. I kind of expected a little bit more differences with the uh, Knuckles of stages than just having a, a different beginning. Sorry, a little bit hard to articulate my words. 
but I mean that's not I'm not saying they're bad they're really fun to play so far I'm having a blast but I just kind of wish that there was a little bit more to it if that makes sense or a little bit more uh, personalization because so far I'm just basically cheesing every part of Sonic stage because I can glide and you know what hey look Applause? I wonder. Did it... Is this like a soundstage or something? Oh, okay. Well, so I'm going to show you guys Super Knuckles. Super Knuckles is functionally identical to Super Sonic. Except he doesn't just change a permanent color. He literally just glows. He just glows. Pink, specifically. Which, in the 80s and 90s, was apparently a boy's color, but... I don't know. I never really disliked pink. Never really a big fan of pink, either. It just kind of was one of those, it's a shade of red. Why do I care? You know, it wasn't really one of those kids who disliked a lot of pink. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, colors... Unless I'm staring at a bunch of different colors at once... I can stare at, I, I can enjoy pretty much what the, what the hell? Okay. Um. What just happened? Okay. So, um, yeah, you might be asking yourself, well, nobody, I remember when you in your Carnival Night Zone Let's Play that you were talking about how having a bunch of colors on the screen makes your eyes hurt. Yeah, they do. But oddly enough, I think it might be because of how many pixels were, uh, different colors on the screen because Studiopolis very much has that same effect where there's literally a bunch of colors on screen at once but I can't explain it it doesn't hurt my eyes as much maybe it's because there's a lot more definition to the or there's a lot more resolution to the picture so my eyes aren't straining as much to make things out through all the colors or if it's because a lot of the colors are the stage itself is predominantly blue and yellow or yeah blue and orange with different colors thrown in but it's uh, predominantly like a bluish yellow orange type of color. And apparently Eggman's weather machine just can't get a fair boss fight, but I'll do this as fair as I can. So the wind will blow you up and you want to grab one of these uh, poles to prevent you from flying into the spikes that are up there. And as Eggman flies back and forth, you can just let go and, you know, smash into him. This was the uh, lightning one that I was talking about. Where he summons three clouds and strikes you. 262 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy crap. Also, when Eggman starts to light the stage on fire, he uh, you want to hide under him so you don't get burned. And you want to uh, jump into him when he lowers. Come on, Eggman. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. I missed. Thunder. Um, as far as I know, you can't attack him at all during any of the thunder ones. I would have lost all my rings there call on it now hey look it's gonna get stupid hot again one two three ah oh, crap I couldn't get four. Oh no now you're just dragging the fight out come on fight me like a man And you can't climb up the side of the wall either, so you can't cheese this boss fight very well. In fact, realistically, being super kind of does nothing for me. Except, lets me sit on the spikes without taking damage like that. So I said I wouldn't cheese the boss fight, but I had to cheese that part of it. Because this was going to take too long. But with that, we've cleared Studiopolis Zone Act 2. I hope you enjoyed the uh, quick run through the TV studio. And I will catch you next time when we chase down Flying Battery Zone as Knuckles.